Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we did a lot of fighting and fought Bleach Japan for the first time. What does this woman want? Is it closed today? No, no, Mia san. It's me, Erika Mataki. Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, it's a little complicated. You know... No, what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He can't be here. Uh, that's not. Uh uh. Hey. Oh shit. I think we're losing her. Hey. hey you all right? Well, we're taking to her hospital, animal. <sighs> oh, she's fainted. Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name? I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuka. Great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well... Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. What? I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. No, oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big. And we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijingcho. Until... Until? Uh -uh. Until three years ago. When my father succumbed to an illness. No, I thought that was gone. My mother passed away when I was a little girl. So we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then. But I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa's senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's no no me of being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah, I thought maybe this was going to be another one of those...
exploit her, you know, force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible, but Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. He did? Yeah, he actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Eugenio. Uh, what? Oh, come on! One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Fair. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. Nono Miyasan was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on a struggling senbei shop. <laughs> I mean... There's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think Nonomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. Hey, now. Is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Hmm. Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. But Nonomiya-san's gone. And most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. Here we I go. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. Mary <laughs> Chan. Uh uh. All right, I got you. Huh? Oh no. You don't have to worry about a thing. Just leave all this company stuff to me and the gang. Really? But I... Are you sure? Yeah, you can count on it. Meeting here like this is too much of a coincidence. And the shop's even called Ichiban Confections. That's gotta be fate. Right, guys? What are you talking about? You don't know the first thing about running a business. Come on, we can't just leave it like this, can we? You just leave her hanging? Plus, what about Nonomiya-san's dream to become the city's safety net? This can be our way to carry on his torch. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all for it too, but this is actual management we're talking about. I know, but we owe Nonomiya-san our lives, right? He was the guy who took us in when no one else would. We want to help. He gave up everything to save us. And nobody's gonna pick his dreams up off the floor unless we do. Let's just think of this as paying him back. Ah, <sighs> Ichan. <laughs> paying him back, huh? <laughs> Figured you'd say that. 
Well, we all know there's no change in his mind now. <laughs> so give it all you got, Ichiban. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Uh, wait, you're gonna help too, aren't you? Good luck, Ichiban. <laughs> if anyone can pick up a failing business and use it to save the city, it's you. I believe in you, Ichan. Y yeah, but w what about you guys? Kasuga-san, you... Are you really sure about this? No. Huh? Look, yeah. I don't go back on my word. I'll be your president, prime minister, whatever you need. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, Kasuga-san. Don't mention it. Looking forward to doing this, Sari John. Likewise. Okay, then. If it's all right with you, why don't I show you around the company? Sure. You got this, Mr. President. Hail to the chief. What the President heck? President Kasuga! Come on, guys. I'm so confused. So, we ran we run to a girl when now we're president of a business. Like... How does this work? Seriously. This makes no sense. Well, this is it. This is the first floor, which is our little senbei shop. Oh, have you always been here? The shop has. But the company itself was headquartered in a much bigger building with a lot more employees before it was taken over. But in the end, the business took a turn for the worse, and we ended up back here. The office is on the second floor. Please, follow me. Right behind you. I'm so confused. How did we end up with the business? I just watched this, and I still don't understand. Oh, so this is the office. You'll have to excuse the mess we've got going right now. Hey, Eri-chan, welcome back. Is this the guy you were texting me about? Yes. Kasuga-san will be helping with the company in the place of Nonomiya-san. Kasuga-san, this is my grandmother. She's the only family I have left. She helps out with the shop downstairs on days when she feels well enough. I'm Tomei Kamataki. Nice to meet you. Tomei-san, huh? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, too. Hmm, older gentleman. Unique hairdo. Thick build, toned muscle. <laughs> Quite a boyfriend you've got yourself, Eri-chan. Grandma? He's not my boyfriend. Were you even listening? Oh. <laughs> uh, honestly... Sorry about that, Kasuga-san. <laughs> it's cool. Is, is that chicken? Huh? Whoa! Why is there a chicken here? That's Omelette, our company pet. Well, I guess she's more like the company mascot. She's a good girl, though. You won't have to worry about anything. In fact, the company uses her eggs. Uh, oh, right on. Nice to meet you, Omelet. <laughs> okay. This game's Perhaps mean. this would be a good time to go over the basics of management. This is going to be quite a tutorial, so just let me know when you have the time. Sure thing. You know what? Oh, no, oh. Let's do it. I'm ready to start your training whenever you are. Let's do it. Yeah. I have no idea what Let's I'm do doing. It. All right then. Are you worried like I am? Cuz I am. And now I have hiccups. Oh god, business management. This is a business management simulation which causes takes the role of company president in order to bring Kijiban, come back to straight to the top. If you want to become the best company in Yokohama, you have the number one spot in the share price ranking. Two phases, day to day business and shareholder training. Kazuka will run the business total four times to give financial reports each period. In the beginning of the good business present, K 
cannot use Hillary funds as his personal bank account, nor can he use the personal funds to fund the company. Let's go to boost problems and boost sales. Oh. Let's start running the business once to see how the man can work. I don't want to do that. It's going to end badly. We got a job to do. Three hundred and seventy thousand yen. The employees are very motivated. How are you having returns to the freaking confectionery shop? Trigger, that should make sense. Okay, what the freak? Here's how the business did. Ow! These results are kind of underwhelming. Oh, uh, we're kind of bleeding money here. Who's the two dudes? We're <laughs> tanking. Wow, we lost 100. We lost 50 ranks, so we're a micro Our enterprise now. Dropped. Oh no, we're a sweatshop almost. What am I doing with my life? And that's about all there is to managing a business. So? Not too hard, is it? Yeah, not so bad. Wait! Uh, yo, wait up. You're acting like this is in the back, but we're flat broke. Broke as hell. Uh, you didn't have to put it like that. Right now, all we have on staff is a bunch of deadbeats. And don't even get me started on the furniture and equipment. Of course we're in the red. So what can we do? We'll have to invest. Uh, we need to advertise, hire competent staff, get new equipment, maybe some new furniture while we're at it. And we're gonna pay for all that how? Uh, Good question. Then what the hell do we do? That's where you come in. Seriously? What kind of mess did I get myself into? All right. Well, first off, let's think about how we'll get the money to cover the infrastructure and new hires. I don't know if anyone would be willing to invest in us. I suppose we'll have to take out another loan? Uh, and after Nonomiya-san just repaid the last one, too. Would you know anybody? Someone with money. Or a rich friend. Or maybe someone from your childhood who grew up to be an oil baron. I know a guy. Look, I'm unemployed and ex-Yakuza. Why would I have... Wait. What is it? No, he wouldn't. Would he? Do we have his number? We never got his number, did we? That's where I'm at. Come on, Nick. I want to do this. For both the company and Nonomiya-san's sake. I just need a little bit of... Financing, I think it's called. Please, man. Can you help me out? Uh. <laughs> you okay there, Nick? Excellent! Your kindness and consideration for others is truly moving. Come see your friend. Downright emotional! Consider it done. I'd be thrilled to invest in your company. What? Really? Man, thanks, Nick. That said, I'm no novice when it comes to management. I can't just throw money at you like it's nothing. If you want the funds, you have to meet my three conditions. Conditions? Indeed. If you can agree to them, consider the investment yours. Okay. Seriously? Okay, yeah, man. Whatever it takes. So, what are these conditions? First condition? The company must never be in the red. What? Now, I don't ever want to see a minus next to company funds. And that includes the starting capital I'm about to give you. If I do, I'll have arrangements made to counter this on my end. This is by no means free money, and I am not a charity. Sound good so far? Yeah, that's fine. Very well. Second condition. 
I want the company's share price ranking to be within Yokohama's top 100 by the specified deadline. Share what now? <laughs> ranking. It's what measures the company's value. If the share price goes up, so does the ranking. And I want your company to be in the top 100. Knowing you and your company's potential, it should be a piece of cake. So the deadline is simply there to keep you motivated. I'll contact you later regarding the deadline. Condition two suit you fine? Yeah. Well, what's condition three? The last condition. And you can take all the time you need with this one. I want you to become the number one company in the share price ranking. What? Best of the best, huh? I want that little confectionery of yours to be the crown jewel of Yokohama. In other words, get out there and get to the top. I'm not willing to invest my money into anyone who can't fulfill these conditions. So, what'll it be? You got yourself a deal. I don't fully understand it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'll see you to it that Ichiban Confections becomes the biggest company in Yokohama. Then we're on the same page. Okay. With that, I'll go get the first portion of the investment ready for you. You're free to use the money for whatever you like. Be that improving infrastructure or personnel logistics and training. Awesome. Thanks a bunch, Nick. No need to thank me. I'm expecting some kind of return once your company is good and stable. Looking forward to the results. Well, adios. What just happened? Just look at all this money. Wow, boyfriend, you actually did it! I'd be all over you if I was younger! <laughs> Gee, thanks, lady. I'll take that as a compliment. This is amazing! Thank you, Kasuga-san! Save your thanks for Nick Ogata. Besides, it's not like this came with no strings attached. There are conditions. No dropping into the red, be in the top 100 share price ranking by the specified deadline, and ultimately take the top rank and share price. These are his conditions? Yeah, and I'm not about to disappoint the man. I made a promise to fulfill them. Top 100? Hmm, that's gonna be tough. So we'll have to make sure we do our very best. Well, let's start by using this money to get this company back on its feet again. Kasuga-san, just let me know when you're ready to begin. You got it. Five million? In five business... Alright. You know what? I want to do this, but next time when you're like a dragon, we're going to play some business simulator.